Ebenezer, a symbol of Jehovah's help and deliverance. Ebenezer is a significant term and location mentioned in the Hebrew scriptures, particularly in the books of 1 Samuel. The name, Ebenezer, comes from the Hebrew words Eben Ha Ezer, which translates to, Stone of Help. This name carries profound meaning in the context of Israel's history and their relationship with Jehovah God. Historical Context The account of Ebenezer unfolds during a tumultuous period for the nation of Israel. The Israelites were facing constant threats from the Philistines, a neighboring people who often engaged in warfare against them. In 1 Samuel chapter 4 verses 1 to 11, the Israelites camped at Ebenezer to confront the Philistines. Unfortunately, this initial encounter resulted in a devastating defeat for Israel. They lost about 4,000 men, and in their despair, they decided to bring the Ark of the Covenant from Shiloh to the battlefield, believing it would ensure Jehovah's support. However, their reliance on the ark as a talisman rather than fostering genuine faith and obedience led to further calamity. The Philistines not only defeated Israel again but also captured the ark of the covenant and killed Eli's sons, Hophni and Phinehas. This event marked a low point in Israel's spiritual state, highlighting the consequences of turning away from Jehovah's commandments. Samuel's leadership and Israel's repentance. Years later, under the guidance of the prophet Samuel, Israel underwent a spiritual revival. Samuel urged the people to abandon foreign gods and to serve Jehovah exclusively. In 1 Samuel chapter 7 verses 3 to 6, he told them, If you are returning to Jehovah with all your hearts, put away the foreign gods and the Ashtoreth images from among you, and direct your hearts unswervingly to Jehovah and serve only him, and he will rescue you from the hand of the Philistines. The Israelites responded positively, gathering at Mizpah to fast, pray, and confess their sins. This collective act of repentance demonstrated their sincere desire to restore their relationship with Jehovah. It was during this time of national introspection that the Philistines prepared to attack again, perceiving Israel as vulnerable. Jehovah's deliverance at Ebenezer When the Philistines advanced, the Israelites pleaded with Samuel to intercede on their behalf. Samuel offered a burnt sacrifice and cried out to Jehovah. In response, Jehovah caused loud thunder, throwing the Philistines into confusion and leading to their defeat by the Israelites. 1 Samuel chapter 7 verses 7 to 11. This victory was markedly different from their earlier defeats, underscoring the power of genuine faith and obedience. To commemorate this significant deliverance, Samuel took a stone and set it up between Mizpah and Shen. He named it Ebenezer, saying, Until now Jehovah has helped us, 1 Samuel chapter 7 verse 12. This stone served as a tangible reminder of Jehovah's assistance and faithfulness. It was not merely a memorial but also a symbol encouraging continuous reliance on God. Lessons from Ebenezer for today. For Jehovah's Witnesses, the account of Ebenezer holds enduring lessons about faith, obedience, and reliance on Jehovah. The initial defeats faced by Israel illustrate the futility of engaging in mere formalism or relying on religious artifacts without heartfelt devotion. The Ark of the Covenant, while sacred, could not bring victory when the people's hearts were estranged from God. The subsequent victory after sincere repentance highlights Jehovah's willingness to forgive and support those who earnestly seek Him. It emphasizes that genuine faith involves more than outward actions, it requires an inner commitment and alignment with Jehovah's will. The symbolism of the stone of help. The stone named Ebenezer symbolizes Jehovah's role as a helper and deliverer. It reminds believers that any successes or victories are attributable to his guidance and support. This recognition fosters humility and gratitude, key qualities in a faithful servant of God. In personal application, Jehovah's Witnesses are encouraged to reflect on their own, Ebenezer's, moments when they have felt Jehovah's help in their lives. Acknowledging these instances strengthens faith and reinforces trust in Jehovah's future promises. It aligns with the counsel found in Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 to 6. Trust in Jehovah with all your heart and do not rely on your own understanding. In all your ways take notice of him, and he will make your paths straight. Avoiding past mistakes. The account also serves as a caution against repeating the mistakes of the Israelites. It warns against complacency and the dangers of turning away from Jehovah's guidance. By studying these historical events, believers can identify pitfalls to avoid, such as idolatry, disobedience, and lack of faith. Jehovah's mercy and patience. Moreover, Ebenezer reflects Jehovah's mercy and patience.
Despite Israel's previous unfaithfulness, Jehovah was willing to forgive and assist them when they genuinely turned back to him. This aspect of his character provides comfort and hope, reassuring believers that sincere repentance leads to restoration. Encouragement for Collective Worship The collective actions of the Israelites at Mizpah demonstrate the power of unified worship and repentance. Jehovah's Witnesses value congregational gatherings, viewing them as opportunities to encourage one another and strengthen their collective faith. Hebrews chapter 10 verses 24 to 25 emphasizes this by stating, And let us consider one another so as to incite to love and fine works, not forsaking our meeting together. Conclusion Ebenezer stands as a profound testament to the relationship between Jehovah and his people. It encapsulates themes of help, deliverance, repentance, and faith. For modern-day servants of Jehovah, the lessons from Ebenezer encourage a deep, personal commitment to God, reliance on his support, 